flip using the flip again because I like it better than the Samsung even though it's lower resolution I get more frames per second and I think the audio is better and I don't know, just the video seems clearer and smoother the thing was I when I crashed I broke the uh, the glass on the front and then some smudges got onto the lens deep inside but today I took this camera apart and I cleaned the lens really well and I made this it's a little piece of plexiglass that fits right there oops dropped it but anyway it fits on to the lens so I will use hot glue and I will glue this piece on to the camera like that perfect and because it's the internet I have to record a cat right kitty yes got the lens thing glued on doesn't look the best but oh, there's gonna be noise in here hold on anyway but look at what it looks like mirror is kind of dirty. See it's kind of, uh, you can see glue around the edge, but it should work though. It's not bad. And it will protect the lens, so it's all that matters. I should probably explain part of the reason why I haven't been making videos recently. I've been planning for a trip because I have three weeks of vacation in August so I am planning a trip uh, with Jimmy we will start here in Fairfield close to Fairfield, California travel to Las Vegas Nevada Alamo, Nevada Rachel, Nevada uh, Tonopah, Nevada and then we will head north from there and eventually we will make it to uh, Idaho I don't know what cities are there we're not going to Boise we're going west or east of that and then we're going up to uh, Missoula, Montana and then across to Seattle, Washington for the Groundspeak headquarters block party which is on August 18th and then after that we will be heading back down south to Jimmy's house in Reading. So we have about two weeks to complete the trip and it's 2,700 miles and we will find a bunch of caches along the way. Uh, I will be recording and uploading whenever possible. Whenever I have time to edit and find internet access I will put update videos up. Uh, yeah, that's what's that's what's in store in about a month, so tell people about it. Tell them to subscribe if they want to see it. Let people know, because I think it'll be really cool. I have also been working on um, getting all of my containers together so I can, uh, well, we can hide them, because I've been, I've been collecting them. I think there's like 26 right here. There's all these, you know, different, there's different colored paint. There's like, you know, a silver one. We've got some darker metallic colors, you know, some off-the-wall colors, purple, orange, blue, red, there's some yellow ones back there, camo tape, big containers, small containers, here's a log, you, uh, there's a dowel in there so you can separate that, and there's a hollowed out area, some black, like, stone texture, magnetic, see, like, they'll stick to the wall. I have one that looks like a Wii controller. Tennis ball, you squeeze it and it opens. It's a trick. And uh, so I've just been making these. This one's actually probably the coolest paint job I've I've done. So let me see how far I've put it into the light. It kinda looks blue. But if I rotate it around, it turns red. See that? Kind of. I don't know. We're planning on hiding a lot of these too. Once we get done with the trip. 
So, that'll be fun.